Okay, so this is actually really funny. How do I word this? I do like pissing off the Cyrax analogs. So Cyrax is not easy to like take the side of in any way because he's like a gross freak who was like he was I think he was convicted of molesting a blind girl he was related to, which is probably one of the most abhorrent crimes you can possibly commit. Um, so yeah, nasty fucking guy. However, I am not a fan of fat retards on the internet who consider themselves vigilantes when all they do is like torment like a retarded person. It doesn't make sense to me. Like you're not a good person for acting like a fucking dickhead and breaking the law to, to fuck with somebody who is like obviously developmentally handicapped. Um, so uh, a while ago, at the heated fervor of the Cyrex shit, one of the A-logs went to his house and started protesting, like actually physically picketing outside of his house with a sign that said that he was a pedophile or something. Cyrex gets pissed off that this guy is doing this, even though he's within his right to stand outside the house and picket it. Now, the obvious intelligent thing to do would simply be to ignore this person and like Laura Loomer, Loomer chaining herself to Twitter HQ, would get hungry and bored and have to pee eventually and would just leave after not getting any reaction. Cyrax, being a mentally handicapped pedophile, decides that he's going to take a baseball bat, run outside, and very lightly tap him so that he meets the bare minimum for battery but does not actually cause any damage to this person whatsoever. And assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, so the police come, Cyrex gets apprehended. Uh, there's a video of him wailing, uh, like a retard because of the consequences of his own actions. While the guy with the camera is holding it there saying like, I want to press charges and basically being a nuisance. Um, he gets put in jail. He gets bailed out by mama. And then weeks later, um, he decides to post this in public and he says, We are all about to be failed by the justice system. I have been communicating with the DA the past few days, and she has insisted that I do not have a strong case, which I refuted every point she made, to which she made a rebuttal and insists my case is too weak. She informed me that her supervisor wants her to request a reduction in charges, which will make this already insultingly minor, minor charge of simple assault a mere disorderly conduct charge. I requested that they do not do this, and rather we go to trial and I present my case, as weak as she may think it is. I told her I'd rather ride this train till it crashes, and rather lose the case than let him get off without a trial. She told me that they are not asking for permission to request a reduction in charges, rather they are informing me that that is what they are going to do. I refuted this, but she said that she wants to get this over with because they are being inundated with calls and email on the daily and want this to end. She told me Cyrex lawyer thinks that he can get him to plead guilty to reduce charges, but I think even that may be too much accountability for the goblin. We'll see how this status hearing goes. If he pleads guilty, that's it. If he doesn't, then it's going to continue to trial on the 11th. We shall see. So the DA is telling him, you were not injured. He walked out because you were antagonizing him and he hit you with a baseball bat. There is a chance if we take this to court that the jury may sympathize with him because he's a gross retard goblin monster and you are directly trying to piss him off for internet points and money um, that they may just let him walk. And I'm a district attorney. Um, I do not want to lose a case like this. So we're going to uh, walk it down to simple assault or to a disorderly conduct charge if we cannot get a plea deal. And he takes issue with that and says, no, you will do what I want. You will do what I say. I'm going to ride. I'm going to take your career and I'm going to ride it like a train. And if it crashes, that's not my fucking problem. To which she then decides to stop being polite and says, my dude, I do not give a fuck what you want. You are a retard. You're a bigger retard than the pedophile goblin. I don't give a, f I'm not going to risk my, my uh, career and my conviction rate on your stupid ass internet feud. Go fuck yourself. Click. And he says, well, um, 
it's not fair that they just want to not deal with emails. Those are his people. Those are his buddies in the Discord channels who are sending emails to try and compel the DA to do something that apparently they're not very confident in. So they're instead of getting what they wanted, the DA is now thinking, I want this over as quickly as fucking possible. And so what is chat? If you want to contemplate this matter for, um, uh, for a moment, you tell me if you are a district attorney and you wanted a legal matter to be resolved as quickly as possible, what could you do to make it over as quickly as possible chat? I'll give you a second to respond as I take a nice sip. Find some water. There we go. That is correct. If you were a district attorney and you wanted to get rid of a legal case that you were bringing uh, on your own volition, the easiest option would be to simply dismiss the charges. And so what happened is that the serious case that he was ready to ride out until it crashes and burns um, was simply dismissed. As it says here, uh, the case is now dismissed as of September 25th, so four days ago. And it says down here, DWAP Praz. And if you're wondering, DWAP Praz is for uh, dismiss without prejudice, is Latin for dismiss without, pre uh, without prejudice, uh, prosecution. And that is shorthand for um, the state simply did not appear in court. The state did not appear in court for their own case to which the judge says, I guess the, the state is no longer pursuing these charges and bangs his gavel and declares it dismissed without prejudice. So this guy, instead of just working with the DA and the A-logs who hate Cyrax and are literally no fucking smarter than he is because they're all retards, managed to get their big win on Goblin Boy dismissed without prejudice because they annoyed the DA so much that she was just like, fuck it, I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> Not my I don't give a shit. Stop bothering him. And uh, so he gets to go back home. He has a clean record uh, in regards to this. Nothing happened. Uh, kind of rude to the judge. Well, this happens a lot. It's very typical where the judge has like 90 dockets for the day and he like bangs his gavel. The next one comes up. One of the parties doesn't show. He does a continuance or he just dismisses and so on and so forth. Like, It's not like a, the judge might have even gotten a phone call that they're not going to show up. So when they just didn't show up, he's like, okay, dismiss. Bang. Five minutes. Next case. Uh, number 47 in line uh, should come up to the court and that's it. That's how the, the system works. He's not taking it personally. He's just like, great. I don't have to think about this. This is dismissed. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best. When like when I have like a report queue of 40 reports and I open a report and I say, oh, wait, the guy reported a message to say that, he, that there's nothing to do. He's just it's just a joke. OK, great. Rejected. Next. <laughs> don't have to think about it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.